Hey everyone. Okay, so one of the most commonly asked questions that I get is my foundation, my moisturizer, my sunscreen, my whatever is breaking me out and can I recommend a product that will not break me out? In an ideal world it would be really nice, wouldn't it, that I could just say yes, this product here will not break you out. Unfortunately it's not that simple. There are tens of tens of tens of thousands of ingredients that can be used in any product and whether you will break out with them, who knows? That's the truth, unfortunately. There used to be some data that said that these ingredients were really problematic, but that kind of has gone by the by now because <clears throat> even, even really problematic ingredients, if used in really small quantities, aren't gonna, be, aren't gonna cause any issues to your skin. So unfortunately, it's impossible to say that this product will not break you out. A sunscreen that I might use that may not break me out may absolutely cause you problems, the same with anything. It's an impossible situation and of course it's even more misleading because the cosmetic companies and beauty companies and skincare companies make it hard for us to understand what really is and isn't a fact because they use, in, they use names that sound like it's not going to cause a problem, like non-comodogenic, non-acnogenic. These are made up terms that mean absolutely nothing, I promise you. They give the illusion that this product will not cause a breakout. But it makes no sense because it's not, a, it's not a term that actually has any real meaning. Any company can say that their product will not cause a breakout because it's not regulated. So they can say whatever they want and it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, it matters to you because we've all bought products that say they're not going to break us out, they're not going to cause a reaction, and yet they've done the exact things that they say they're not going to do. It's the same with, um, and I've mentioned this so many times because it's such an important point, that we really shouldn't believe what we see. Um, dermatology is tested, right? Sounds good. Doesn't tell us which dermatologist tested it. Doesn't tell us where it was. What if the dermatologist was paid by the company? Surely the results would be very, very different if it was somebody who wasn't paid. We don't know any of this information, so it's impossible for us as consumers to get really valid information about the products that we want to buy and the results that we want to achieve. The best thing I can say to you is that the thicker the ingredients, like um, something really, really thick and emollient, like a really heavy moisturizer, will probably, probably be more problematic than a toner or a serum because they're lighter, they would have less problematic ingredients. Again, this is very much like, it will probably be less problematic, but you never know because you just don't know. The best thing when you're going to buy foundations, particularly if you're buying higher end foundations, Absolutely ask for testers, ask for enough tester that you can get through a good two to three days because then you're going to know if you're going to start to react because oftentimes with foundations and things, the reaction in terms of um, clogging pores can be quite, you know, it can happen in the day. So get enough for a couple of days and then you can see, but unfortunately there's no real easy answer to this question. I wish there was, I wish I could give you a list of products. Unfortunately, I cannot and I'm never going to be able to. And I think the the more we can accept this as being truth, then the easier it is for us to buy cosmetics and, you know, think that, well, maybe they'll work, maybe they won't, and not get our hopes up thinking this is the one, because it's very rare that we'll ever find the one product that will do everything we want and will not cause breakouts. Sorry. Bye.